Thank you for staying with us and indeed welcome if you're just joining us. Uh, you're just in time to catch our second subject and uh, here we want to look at um, uh, the story that's been swirling around in recent times about um, uh, the stealing of um, palliative grains coming out of Berlin Kebi. Uh, well, uh, our guest this time is uh, Comrade Usman uh, Mohammed Anache, the Secretary of the Kebi State Association for Peace and Good Governance. Uh, indeed, good morning to you. If you are in place, how oh, there you are. Uh, a, a fine morning to you. Uh, thank you very much for making the time for us, sir. Um, we're trying to get to the bottom of all of this, and uh, we've been hearing that, um, well, uh, the, the, the headlines uh, can be a bit confusing, that when you look at um, warehouses being looted, that actually these are, you know, they belong to uh, Brennan Kebi local government uh, area, and uh, the, state, uh, the government in Kebi has said that all of its palliatives have been uh, actually been distributed. The warehouses that were looted reportedly belong to the Dangote Foundation, and um, this was affirmed or this was stated uh, by the um, Commissioner for Agriculture and Natural Resources, Al Haji Shehu Muazu, who spoke at a, a press conference following an emergency executive session to uh, talk about these issues. Um, that, that session was um, chaired by the Deputy Governor, Senator Umar Abubakar. Um, are you in agreement with, with that position, sir? Because people hearing the news that, what? This is outrageous. Palliative grains looted? What can you tell us, sir, by way of facts? Yes. Uh, actually, it was unfortunate. Uh, what I want the whole world to know is this. Uh, in KB, it is not our tradition to loot. It is not our culture. It is not our history. So it was just unfortunate that this has happened uh, in Berlin KB, which is not part of uh, our upbringing and the uh, historical and the background of the state. Uh, actually, uh, what what happens was that uh, what really caused the problem is that uh, first of all, everybody knows that there was hunger in the country. Can we state inclusive? So we cannot deviate from that. That uh, the, the the people are hungry, and the whole nation, not only KB, uh, are having the same problem. Uh, secondly, the Kenyan state government has successfully launched it is it is grand distribution and the Rima, where the silos uh, of the state and the federal belongs, and it was launched successfully by the uh, executive governor of Kenyan state, uh, Comrade Dr. Nasro Idris Kaurangwandu. And uh, after the successful distribution, uh, uh, launching of the program, the governor did not hide anything from the team population of Kenya State. He, he, he willingly said that the, uh, the, the grants at the launching site are 20% of what is going to be distributed to the people. The remaining 80 are on the way or are in other uh, government stores that uh, needs to be distributed in a short period of time. Uh, it is not easy for any government at this time to mobilize and get the required grants they need for their population. So that is why the launching has to be delayed to that time when the state governor has launched it, uh, because whenever the contractors that are awarded the contract to supply the grants to the state government uh, scout for the grants, the grants are no uh, much available in many quarters because all the states are buying at the same time. The federal government is also buying at the same time. The local people 
uh, are buyers at the same time. Our contractors that are been handling the supply, sometimes it has to go outside the country to scout for party rice so that they can process it. And that's what constituted the little delay we have and the people has understand the, the, the scenario behind the issues of this grants of politics. Uh, however, in this particular uh, incident that uh, uh, happened was not a cave state uh, store that, that was looted. It was a the pilot from uh, I think Dangote Foundation that was brought to KB. The issue of changing the attitudes of people suddenly from good to bad or from the way we have been brought up to just start uh, uh, looting that it has gone uh, viral in so many uh, uh, medias was a, 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 a factor of so many uh, factors. The, the, the first factor is that the people handling the distribution of Dangote palliatives in the state decided to play it in a uh, as if it is a cover up uh, operation. They did not involve the state government, they did not involve the emirs, they did not involve the religious leaders, the traditional leaders, even with the NGOs, were not involved, were not even aware of what is happening. Uh, secondly, they come and deposited some of these uh, uh, grants in permanent site of the Polytechnic, uh, Wazir Umar Polytechnic, which is about four kilometers away from the town center. And uh, it took them uh, three days. The palliatives are there lying down. And the people are seeing them. Uh, that they, uh, what, what, this thing is for what? This is for what? There was sketchy information. Uh, there was no any information uh, on what exactly it, 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 it is happening. So people decided to see that what is happening. Then during the fourth day when they started distribution, the distribution was not clear. Nobody in KB can tell you this is precisely what is happening. So that's what prompted the people to start uh, looking at that uh, permanent site. Mm. And the uh, one that that people pick at the Kara market, where the grass market is, it is this very uh, implementers of these Dangote uh, uh, palliatives that took the trucks to the Kara market, where the famous uh, grass market in Berlin is. And the people are seeing that the trucks are being uploaded into a commercial shops. That the shops does not belong to the government. The shops did not they belong to the to the people who are selling grains in that market. And this uh, uh, not for sale bags of rice are being offloaded in those to uh, those stores. So this brings so, so, and in the presence of the public. So this brought so many suspicions by the public that no look. These people are trying to, at least, are they selling this uh, product that was brought to us uh, free of charge? Or what exactly is happening? So there is total, uh, 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 as if a uh, shady or cover up from the actual uh, people that are implementing that, uh, that, that program. And well, that well, is what was, was, was uh, it? I, was it, co a, was it a cover up or a confusion? I, I, I deliberately did not interrupt you. Didn't want to, uh, so that we could we could get particularly I, I, what you I have, what you wanted to say. Uh, was it more? Was, was it a confusion or a cover up? Because it surely is irregular uh, for a donor yes. such as Dangote Foundation to try to do everything by itself without, as you put it involving the state authorities, uh, without involving the emirs, uh, you know, in short, pulling a one-man show, it's highly irregular. So are you, uh, have you been able to investigate to find out how did that state of affairs come to be? Yes, during our, our investigation after the incidents, we were, we were even informed that some of them doesn't even want the state government to be aware of what they are doing. I see. So, so you can see, yes. So if, if, it, if, it is, if it is that, because you see, if at all the state government is involved in this, and there is no way you can come to the state and implement any program. Even the federal government cannot come to the state and implement any program without involving the state government. 
I see. And if they do that, the, I the, see. The, the program will not succeed. So I, instead of taking these I, palliatives at least to the Emir's palace or to the I, stadium or the government just, silos, why the okay. security will be provided? Yeah. What, what, what person, um, we, we have someone on the line, um, if I could listen carefully, the comrade Onaji. Onaji. Onaji from Kebi is calling in. Uh, okay, go right ahead, please, now that you've come in. Go ahead, comrade. Okay, so so, so at least the palliatives should be given, uh, uh, should, should, the, the, the second government must be involved. The security agencies must be involved. The violators were distributed in other states, not only in Kibi. What happens in, in, in other states like Kano? It was successful. Uh, uh, sorry, I have, uh, so, sorry, one moment, sir. I signed on the caller. I, I told him to go ahead, uh, but because we haven't heard from him, you mistakenly continued. I, I was asking the caller to go right ahead. Okay, now, the, uh, the, if you could put the name of the caller on, he will see that he is on. Um, a comrade, right? Uh, yes. yes. Could yes. you identify yourself, please, comrade? Uh, yes, actually, that was what transpired uh, here in permanent side. I'm okay. In permanent side. Okay. Yeah, okay. Place where, uh, okay. The way it has uh, been explained to us. About. Okay, yes. well, by your namesake. You, the way it has been explained to us by your namesake, right? Yes, yes. Usman okay. Mohammed Anache. What transpired? The, the, the issue is that they kept this thing in convocation ground. Yes. In convocation ground. And they kept it for the past three days without distributing it. And that was what caused the whole problem. Yes. Thank you. Okay, that was what caused the pro You have called the problem. Um, our guest, uh, <laughs> our guest comrade uh, 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 Anache, Secretary Kebi State Association for Peace and Good Governance, called it a cover-up. And I was wondering if it was a confusion, generally. Uh, but my big confusion now is why any donor would want to do uh, things on its own on such a scale. Uh, this, it can't possibly, I mean, that would seem to be commonsensical. It can't be done. Uh, but... Uh, apparently, from very good testimony, that was uh, th that was attempted. So, um, so uh, back to you, uh, Comrade Usman Mohammed Anachi, and I now have to use all of the names so as to avoid the confusion. Um, that's the situation that we have on our hands now, right? Um, now, have, are those grains gone? Uh, is there anything that can be retrieved? Uh, what's the very situation? It's a very embarrassing situation. Uh, as you said, it's not in the character, not in the character of the people of Kebi, but what happened, happened. Yes. Uh, we cannot even ascertain what exactly. You look, we don't even know the quantity that was supplied to Kebi State. We don't know who supplied the quantity. We don't know the oh handlers. Dear. Oh dear, I government see. Was not involved. Government was not involved. Security agencies were not involved. Until when the people start uh, that looting at the uh, at the main and these grains drove the trucks to main grains market in the Burlington, of loading to the private shops. So in the presence of the public, so there, there must be some kind of a, a, a mixed reaction. Yeah. That what is really happening? Well, the people are trying. Uh, I think that the, 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 the handlers are trying to compromise with the with the traders. So that they can they can maybe sell the the, the, the something that is given to them free. So okay. this is what really was all the situation. Well, um, this is the well. Uh, well, I, I want to thank you for coming on our program and explaining this. And um, the the person who called in actually confusingly uh, is your namesake, and so there was a bit of a confusion there. Uh, but we do know that there was. Um, uh, that the Commissioner for Agri uh, Agriculture and Natural Resources, Al Haji Shehu Muazu, uh, had spoken at a press conference following an emergency state executive meeting. Maybe the state government itself was surprised. Uh, so we probably we, we, we'll stay on this uh, on subsequent programs to get a better sense of how the mistake slash cover up slash confusion 
uh, came to happen, uh, it being such a reputable organization as uh, Dangote uh, being involved, did they really try and do it all on their own? Uh, for what purpose? But th thank you very much, uh, uh, Comrade Usman Mohammed Anache, Secretary, Kebi State Association for Peace and Good Governance, for coming on our program this morning. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then. So